welcome to EDUC 2160, Online Learning Theories and Models. In this clip, we're just going to do a quick orientation to the purpose of the video clips. Many of you may have experienced them before in previous courses, but for some they will be new. So we'll just talk quickly about their role and then get into the analysis questions before we move forward into the course activities and schedule, talking about course assignment and expectations, and then some synthesis questions for this clip. So each of the weeks has an assortment of video clips that are part of your overall package. Um, the readings, the online links, and the videos, as well as your Blackboard discussion and your tutorials in Adobe Connect will be all the components of this course. The video clips will be set up in a similar fashion each time. The initial slide will be the analysis questions, and the purpose of these is to help you focus on key areas of the content to think about so that as you're watching the video clip you have a bit of an advanced organizer um, for going into the content. The bulk of the clip will be focused on the content, whatever it is, the topic under discussion. And this isn't meant to be an overall deep review of this content, it's meant to be an initial orientation of the content. And this content will be further discussed through your readings, through your tutorials, and through your course discussion forum in Blackboard. The video clips all will end with some synthesis questions, and the purpose of these questions is to help you to begin to connect key ideas and concepts that were presented in the content and spark areas for further reading and further discussion, or areas that you still have questions on that you can bring to your online tutorials and your course discussion forum. So that's, now that we know the purpose of the video clips, uh, let's take a look at the analysis questions for this clip. At the bottom of the screen there, I'll just let you take some time to read the screen, um, but this clip is all about orienting you to the course. So the analysis questions here are, what are the expectations of this course? What should you know and be able to do by the end of this course? And what tools and methods will you be using to meet the expected learning outcomes of this course? And you'll have an opportunity in your first week of the course to discuss your thoughts on these questions and raise any other questions that you have in the online Adobe Connect tutorial and in the course discussion forum. So let's get in and take a look at what this course is all about. The focus of this course is exploring online learning theories and models. So we're going to be examining the growing body of research and theories related to online learning. We'll be looking at different theoretical posi positions such as connectivist theory, communities of inquiry approach, constructivist approach to learning and how that applies in the online environment. We'll also be do looking at some of the meta-analyses that have been done to date on online learning and some recent research especially focused on adult learning in the context of online learning. The particular learning outcomes for this course are listed on this slide and they correlate to the assignments. We'll discuss that a bit further later on. But going from top to bottom, we're looking at the major features of theories for online learning. What's different about online learning and the theories from the face-to-face -face environment? And what features are similar? We're going to be able to, by the end of this course, have a sound rationale for or against online learning as an important part of adult education. You'll be able to draw some major conclusions around research on online learning and look at different characteristics and trends in the research. You'll also be able to critique a body of research using current theoretical positions. And all of this is going to be done in the problem-based learning environment that forms the backbone of this program. So the key components of this course, it's a 12-week course. The time commitment, as you've seen in the course outline, is roughly three hours per week, that's give or take, and it's made up of a variety of activities. This is the important part. There's more than one thing uh, that you need to attend to in this course. So within your course online, Blackboard, there are video clips, the links to the video clips will be there. There's online activities such as your discussion forum. There's some self-directed learning activities, readings, in some cases there's also links to other videos to watch um, as you're building your knowledge base around the topic for the week. We also have synchronous group tutorial activities and that's done in Adobe Connect. That's our synchronous platform. And for those of you who have not used it yet, um, don't worry, it's very straightforward. We'll walk you through it on the first couple of sessions. 
Um, and that's your opportunity where we'll really be getting into the content, the topic area for the week and discussing it and noshing it about and making your own sense of that topic area. And then the other piece of this component are the assignments and as we said in the last bullet point, work on the problem-based learning. So in this course there are two main problem-based learning activities that need to be done as well as the rest of the course assignments and we'll get into talking about those shortly. This is a course at a glance and this is in your course outline. It's also in the Blackboard um, Learning Management System so you'll be able to see it perhaps a little larger than what you can see it now. Um, but basically this tries to outline for you over the 12 weeks generally what are you doing um, in each week. So you'll see uh, week one and two it's the initial orientation to the course. There's at the bottom row uh, videos, readings, tutorials and there's a discussion forum and on the second week there's an assignment that's due. So this gives you the big picture of the course, the 30,000 foot view. And I just enlarged this a little bit so we can see it. Um, just to show on the columns, we have the week, the problem, the workflow, and resources available. And then as you go across the rows, you can see the different resources that are available and what you're doing each week. Also in the course outline, so that gives you the big picture. And then in the course outline, there's also a detailed course schedule. And this is where all the information resides as well for the course. This is in Blackboard. Um, within each week in Blackboard, the readings will be put there as well as <coughs> the links to the different videos or any additional readings that need to be done. But the detailed course schedule gives you a sense of what's happening each session. So, a session slash week. Um, so this is, for example, session one, week one. We're defining key concepts associated with online learning. So the activities that need to be done, there are four video clips to watch and there's the tutorial to participate in in Adobe Connect. And on the right hand side, preparation for this setting, session, there's two readings there with links. There's additional readings, may or may not be, in this case there are not, um, but they would be in the video clips as we go. And then there's a piece in discussion forum in Blackboard. There are two questions there that you would need to go in and post in your week one discussion forum. Post a response to, um, and then get in and read others' responses. Comment on them. And the comment needs to be more than, hey, that sounds great. The comment needs to be, oh, that's, you know, I've been interested in that as well, or I found this great resource. You need to extend and uh, enhance the learning for everyone as part of our discussion posts and our feedback to the posts. And then in this case for week one, we're also starting assignment one. And that's the creation of this concept map. So that's the detailed course schedule and it is in your course outline. It's also in the Blackboard shell and we will spend some time talking about any questions around the course schedule when we get into our tutorials. Now, in terms of assignments for this course, there are several. Um, I've put the waiting here as well. So we have discussion posts in Blackboard and there are four discussion forums that will be running uh, at different times over the course of the 12 weeks. Assignment one is due right close to the beginning. It's due in the end of the second week and it's a concept map of online learning. And in the course outline, these assignments are described in detail. Assignment 2 is the first problem-based learning experience that you'll do. So you'll be spending time in groups working around this problem or ill-structured problem that you've been given and then you'll be presenting back to the larger group. You'll also be self-assessing uh, your participation in that whole PBL experience and debriefing it in a discussion forum. Assignment three is the second problem-based learning experience. Again, you'll be working in groups around an ill-structured problem that you'll be expected to go out and gather resources and make some sense of and then come back and present to the larger group and you'll be self-assessing your involvement in that as well. The final assignment is the cumulating assignment for the course and it's the briefing note. And again, this is described in the course outline in detail and we'll spend some time talking about it in our first tutorial session. But that's a big overview of the different assignments in this course. 
This chart here, and I apologize for the small print, again, it's in your course outline, it'll be in the Blackboard shell so you can see it larger, but what this does is it lines up your assignments against the learning outcomes that they're assessing. It provides a brief description of the assignments, more is in the course outline, gives you a sense of whether they're an individual assignment or a team assignment, and the value or the weighting in your overall course mark, as well as when they're due. So this is sort of that 30,000 foot view of assignments as well. You can see the connections back. In the course outline there are also rubrics associated with each assignment. I have not put one in this uh, little video tutorial, but we can discuss them when we're in our Adobe Connect. The rubrics give you a sense of what's required uh, to meet expectations, to approach expectations, or if the assignment does not meet expectations. It also gives you a sense of the different indicators and the percentage value of the whole total mark that they are. So the rubrics give you a really great, um, a bit of a litmus test when you're working on your assignment of what needs to be included and what you need to attend to. And then once you've completed your draft or your assignment and you're ready to submit it, you can look back at the rubric and say, yes, okay, I've done that, I've done this. It can act like a bit of a checklist. Um, so I would encourage you to take a look at those rubrics in detail. And that brings us to the end of the quick overview of our course. Um, the synthesis questions here at the bottom are ones, again, for you to ponder. Think back. You may want to listen to this video again. Um, but basically looking at what are the potential benefits that would arise from participating in this course. The assignments in this course have been designed to be very real world applicable, uh, something that you can take away and use in your work setting. And so it is the hope that you will be able to do so. And it would be interesting to have some discussion around that in our tutorial session. The other one is how are the tasks, activities, and resources tied to the outcomes? The assignment matrix I was just showing you gives you a sense of that. And then how is everything tied together in this course? What makes it cohesive? Why was the structure chosen? And just some thoughts on that. And that brings us to the end of the first video to orient you to online learning theory and research, ADET 2160U. And I'm looking forward to working with you further in the course. Thanks very much, and we will speak soon.